may adlaw na tong tanan. Does your arm feel tight and difficult to move after you had a stroke? Let us manage that in this video. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist, and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. After a stroke, you either may have a flaccid or a flappy arm, or a spastic or very tight and difficult to move arm. In this video, we will manage a spastic or a tight arm, which usually happens after a few days or a few weeks or even months after you had a stroke. We will massage those tight areas in order to relax the muscles so that you can regain some mobility and be able to manage that spastic arm better. Make sure that you stay until the end of the video. That way, you'll fully understand the process and the steps in order to manage a tight and spastic arm. We will be massaging from the top, from our shoulder, going to our arm, our elbow, our forearm, our wrist, our hand and fingers until we are able to open that hand as well. So we will start from the top, which is your trapezius muscle. Usually your shoulder will be hiked up like this when you have a spastic arm. So we want to relax that area. I will be using the knuckles of my hand, my other hand, my good hand, my good arm to massage that area right there. So you just go back and forth and avoid those bony prominences, okay? You go up to 15 passes, 10 to 15 passes. You can also use your fingertips if your fingers are strong enough. Or if your other hand is also weak, you can use a water container and use the bottom part to massage that area right there, okay? So about 10 to 15 passes. The next area you are going to massage will be your chest. Usually our chest muscle is drawn, drawing our shoulder inwards. So this area is very tight. So you want to massage that area going upwards towards the armpit under your collarbone, 10 to 15 passes, okay? All right, now the next area that you want to massage is the front part of your shoulder, your anterior deltoid, okay? So you're going to just massage that area. Ten to fifteen passes. Again, you can use your water bottle if your arm is getting tired. Your water container, you go this way. All right. This is very effective and it feels good. Now, if you're forearm or if your spastic arm is drawn like this, more than likely the area that is tight is your biceps muscle, this area right here. So if it's drawn like this, you'd want to massage that area. So massage this way using your knuckles, all right, just like that. 10 to 15 passes and then you can try to stretch that elbow but if your arm is draw, um, straight like this when you when you're standing up it's like this I can't stand up because I'm sitting down you won't be able to see my entire body okay so if it's straight like this more than likely the area that is tight is your triceps muscles so you want to massage that area right there, okay? There you go.
Just try to find you a position where it's easy for you to access your muscle. All right? If that area is the one that's tight, you can stretch that arm to bend slowly. Okay? Give it a few seconds and minutes. Do not jerk and force it. Otherwise, there will be a rebound effect. Okay? By the way, you can also use a essential oil or aromatherapy. This is not a sponsored video, but who knows, right? Anyway, you can use a essential oil or aromatherapy oil so it's easier to massage your arm, okay? Ask somebody to pour some oil on your good hand when you're doing this, I know your other hand is weak and unable to move very good yet. So I'm just suggesting that you can also use aromatherapy oil. All right. So now we're moving towards our forearm. So when your arm is drawn like this, the area that you need to massage is this area here, the inside of your forearm. So again, use the knuckles of your good hand, okay, now if the tight area is this part right here, the back, you can use your fingertips or still the knuckles of your good hand, like so, about 10 to 15 passes. There might be instances where it's painful for you. If it's not 8 out of 10 from the pain scale, continue doing the massage, okay? That way well, you, you are able to re-educate your stroke arm and the nerves that is supplying that arm, okay? Now we're going to the wrist, which is where the ligaments and the tendons are for your hand, okay? You're going to massage that area so that you will be able to stretch your wrist a little bit better, okay? So massage that area right there. And it also doesn't hurt if you massage the other side, okay? Right there. Now let's move on to your hand. So your hand, if you have a spastic arm, and if it's very tight, your hand will curl up and form a fist. More than likely, the thumb is outside. Sometimes it's inside too. That's very difficult to, to uh, pull out. So what you want to do is to start massaging the area of your hand, the, the area of the palm of your hand that is exposed. So just massage that area using the thumb of your good hand, starting from the thinner eminence or the fatty part of your palm just below your thumb and the other side as well okay once you're able to do that massage this part right here too between your thumb and your index finger okay massage that area after that you should be able to slowly pry your thumb out like that. If it's difficult, insert two fingers or one finger at a time and slowly pry that thumb out, extend it out like this, okay? Go slow, very slow, all right? And massage it. Massage that 
thumb so it won't be very tight anymore. After that, you're going to insert all your the two of your fingers through the rest of your hand and fingertips and extend those fingers out. So I know my arm is up just to show you, but try to find a comfortable position when you're doing this. If you're sitting down and you need to put your hand down, do it that way, okay? So slowly extend and stretch those fingers. Once you're able to, even in this position, massage those fingertips, go slow. Because if you go fast, you will trigger a rebound effect, which will make your hand close, okay? So keep on massaging that hand and fingers, all right? You can do this every day before you go stretching your entire arm. So that is how you massage a spastic arm when you have a stroke. I'm sorry my neighbor is so loud, but it's okay. If you can hear it, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, <laughs> if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, just type it down below in the comment section. And I will try to answer all of them. And please just remember, consistency is the key. And never give up. Until next time. Bye, love.